What's up guys, DK Wrestler. MD Shady. And right now, it is now part two of the Fan Expo Canada Funko Pop Hunt, which if you guys did not see part one, definitely go check that out. But now we're on part two, where we're gonna check out so many more Funko Pops here at Fan Expo Canada, including some Grail Pops that we actually see over there. So we're gonna look at those right now. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Where's the notification bell? It's to the right of you. Oh. So now we're at Cyber City Comics booth and they have this cabinet with a little bit more pricier pops and some grails there. We have Fred from Scooby-Doo for 43 which is kind of a weird price for a pop. 50 on Shaggy and 90 on Daphne which I do need all three of these pops. There are some other cool things to point out like there's Peter from Family Guy. We do have some different pops from the Dark Crystal as well as from the Labyrinth which you don't see very often. We do have some Sesame Street and then up here we have the OG Knuckles pop for 400 bucks. Kind of debating on picking this up today, not gonna lie. Right here we got some like games and television section like these Power Rangers pops right here. We got Kingdom Hearts right here, some Fortnite once again. But down here we got some more anime like Yu-Gi-Oh, which I do have all of these pops in the set. Yu-Gi-Moto, uh, Yu Yami Yugi, Yami Bakura, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Oh, and let's not forget Maximilian Pegasus. But what really caught my eye is Crash Bandicoot because I am trying to get the complete set. Already have Neo Cortex, already have that Scuba Crash, I'm pretty sure, but Coco Bandicoot is actually a pop I don't have, so I may have to pick this one up today, but there's still a lot of booths to check out before I decide on what pops I'm actually gonna get today. Up here, we have the black and white chases to all four of the Ninja Turtles for the comic book version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got Locke from Nightmare Before Christmas, Donald Duck from New York Comic Con 2019, uh, Dipper, Dines, or Dipper Pines Chase, we got Stretch Armstrong Chase, amongst other chases here including Miguel even finding some very old Sandlot pops that are going for three digits like small and for smalls and Benny we got the Alfred E Newman chase and there is a lot of rare pops here and it is very cool to see these for the first time in a while so I thought we would check out some of these comic books here like the amazing spider-man featuring carnage and venom like these two and then a spider-man 2099 but the reason I came here is because we actually have the comic cover that that is featured in the Funko Pop comic covers of the Glow in the Dark Venom right here. So it's really cool to actually see the comic book in person. All right, so we are right here at the mypops.ca booth where the first thing I notice is Office Pops, which if you guys have seen this channel, obviously, you know that I'm trying to get a full set of the Office Pops, which we got ourselves the Dwight Schrute with Blowtorch, which I do own already. Creed Bratton, I have Dwight Schrute. The blonde-haired Ryan Howard, which I also have. FYE exclusive Michael Scott with the FYE sticker, which I mean, maybe I might get this just because I need that sticker instead of having the special edition sticker, but we still gotta look around. Dwight Schrute is Recyclops version. What well, would be five, but they're calling it three for some reason. Prison Mike, Angela Martin, Mo Schrute, Ryan Howard with the normal black hair, which I still need into my collection. Date Mike, we got the Dwight Schrute with the Princess Unicorn doll. We got the New York Comic Con Dwight Schrute. We even got OG Jim Helper, which I still need in my collection. And this is the blonde hair Dwight for the Pop and Tea bundle right here. So one thing I wanted to point out is they have the Freddy Funko as Spider-Man, which is limited to 4,000 pieces. That pop is insane. As well as the Batman up there and the Danny Phantom. That's really cool as well. But there is just something about that Spider-Man, which is so cool. We got the Jabberwockies, which is awesome to see, as well as some Motu figures with the Grizzlor, which is sweet. That's Flock. What else do we have here? We do have some ad icons, but it looks like mostly stuff that I already have for the most part. Smaxy the Seal. And then up here we have the Freddy Funko as Darth Maul, as well as Russell. These are amazing Freddy Funko Pops. Right here we have some more higher priced Pops, including Chases, which I do see some Marvel ones right here, like the Spider-Man Glow in the Dark Chase from the Marvel Mech Strike Monster Hunter set. We got the Poison Spider-Man that's normally a pop in a box exclusive, I believe. That is the chase right there. We even have right here what is the New York Comic Con Carnage, but it has a Walmart exclusive sticker instead of the 2022 
uh, or not 2022, 2021 fall convention sticker. We even have Berlin Chase, the 2019 Toucan right there, FYE Reptar. But one that really caught my eye is this OG alien from the Toy Story set going for $200 here at the MyPops.ca booth, which I don't know, maybe I might get this because I am trying to get a complete set of Toy Story. But at least for me right now, I'm content with the 20th anniversary wave up until today. Up here, we do have some six pack soda figures of Blacklight TMNT and the Scooby-Doo set, along with some Blacklight Pops and even some Marvel Collector's Core exclusive Groots. We got the two pack of Super Tails and Super Silver, along with some of the blue chrome Star Wars Pops from 2019 Star Wars Celebration. We got some Grail Pops in this section, and I mean some spicy meatballs if I've ever seen some like this 2015 San Diego Comic-Con or Summer Convention exclusive Blue Heisenberg, which I did have a chance back in the day to get it for $80. Kind of regret not getting it then. We got the Freddy Funko as Chucky. We got Gus Fring, the original one. I do have the dead Gus Fring in my collection and I am trying to sell some OG Thor, OG Riddler up top here. We do have some older pops and some more expensive newer pops. Boom, we even got OG Penguin and this holographic Darth Vader. Right here, we got the GameStop exclusive Super Sonic, which is going up pretty high because of the appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hero Killer Stain with the shared sticker, but always good to see that pop because that is such a super detailed pop. The Funimation 2017 exclusive Glow in the Dark All Might. And man, there is a lot of sodas here also here at the MyPops.ca booth. Might have to look through some of these and see if I'm going to obtain some. That's very cool. So we are here at the Sunrise Records booth here at Fan Expo, which the first pop I see, there's a lot of their own exclusives, like the 2021 Spring Convention shared exclusive of Diana Revealed, the Glow in the Dark Captain America for the Avengers Mech Strike lineup. We got the Glow in the Dark Muncher from Ghostbusters Afterlife, but one pop I'm very contemplating on getting is this Michael Scott pop, especially because I do have this pop, but it has a special edition sticker, but this has the FYE exclusive sticker, and it's only $20, so I might have to pick this up today while I'm here. And right here is a stock of the 2022 Galactic Convention exclusive Princess Leia Pops with a nice black and silver foil box, which is really cool to see in person, especially of how Princess Leia has evolved as terms of the molding detail in Funko Pop form. We're back at the Fugitive Toys booth and we had noticed some sweet Grail Pops here like this unmasked Darth Vader with, I believe it is the Star Wars Celebration first to market sticker. A couple of Batman Pops, we got the Bane sitting right there. A couple of the 2016 Summer Convention, or not Summer Convention, but San Diego Comic Con because it's actually the con sticker of Buttercup and Bubbles. We got some more sweet pops right here, like the Doctor Strange from 2016 San Diego Comic-Con with the con sticker. We got Deep Space Suit. We have some of the OG Ninja Turtles pops. And one that really caught our eye is right up there for $1,000. The, I believe it's 500 piece it says, Freddy Funko as Optimus Prime Blacklight. So some pretty crazy pops showing off here at the Fugitive Toys booth like always. $1,000. And I guess I might as well show off some of the U2s, including two that really stick out to me, and that is the Hot Ones U2s, if you've ever seen that on YouTube, where everyone tries out the different wings. And then you even have the Kool-Aid Man, which both of these are really cool U2s. Maybe we'll pick up a U2s. All right, so we are back from Fan Expo Canada, and let me tell you, it was a great time. And you guys are probably wondering exactly what we had gotten. However, we are showing it off tomorrow here on the channel as we are doing an entirely separate video for a haul portion of our Fan Expo Canada Funko Pop Hunt. So stay tuned tomorrow to see what items we had gotten during Fan Expo Canada. So anyways guys, that's all the time we have for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and let us know what was your favorite pop that you've seen at Fan Expo Canada. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and hit that little notification bell to be notified when future videos like this one gets released. Least. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. One, two, three, I'm out of here. Peace in.
Peace out. Follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at a Funko Podcast. If you want to check out some of our other content that's featured on our channel, you can click either the playlist that's on your screen right now featuring previous episodes of our weekly podcast, a Funko Podcast, or we have suggested a video for you guys in relation to today's video. 